Hey, how are you, my Hi, friend? Hi, Ismael, fine. And you? I'm good, good, good. Nice to God. Um, tell me, um, what's your name and who are you exactly? I'm called George Tumnome Uh huh. I'm a student of canon law. I'm doing a master's program in canon law at the U.S. Law St. Paul. Okay. So, uh, that's about me. That's good. My family name is Lekelefat. That's my father's name and my family name. Mm -hmm. And George Chumbonga are the other two names. So, we have three names. Yeah. Three names yes. from your father's and mom's side. My f my mom takes the name of my father. That's the okay. Ah, so, okay. my mother is also called Lekelefat. It's a family name. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. That's good. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Not bad. Um, are you uh, the uh, Spanish coordinator, right? Uh, yes, I coordinate the Spanish club. Mm -hmm. It was an initiative when I came to University of Ottawa. Mm -hmm. uh, not University of Ottawa. So when I came to Saint Paul, Saint Paul, when I came to Saint Paul, I was looking for a place to practice my Spanish mm -hmm. because I didn't want to lose the, the language. Okay. But I was told that there was a club at the University of Ottawa. So that is why I used to go to practice. It's called Entre Amigos. Mm -hmm. But then I said, could it not be possible to have that club here? Could we not have a Spanish club at the university? Mm -hmm. So I, I applied there through the sponsor and it was authorized. Yes. So, so it was it, for this year that you... Uh, yeah, recently, a month okay. ago. So it's an initiative. Perfect, perfect. Yes. And um, hmm. why did you create the... Spanish club. I know that it was because we did not have it here, but yeah. why exactly we came with it? So I came with that because of three objectives. Uh -huh. The first is the academic aspect. Okay. We give the opportunity for people who want to learn Italian, Spanish to come to learn it. So uh -huh. it's the academic aspect. Okay. We follow the, the, the European program of the Spanish language. Uh -huh. So that is very important, the academic aspect. In which we learn the grammar because you can't speak a language if you don't know the grammar. You That's need to know the grammar. grammar. Yeah. To form a sentence and it, mm -hmm. it's forming a, it is informing a sentence that you communicate. So the academic aspect, two, the cultural aspect. Mm -hmm. We want to give the opportunity for people to learn about the Latin the, Amer the Latin American culture. It is very interesting. The food, music, uh, music and the art. So we 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 we, we coordinate with uh, Ellen. Yes, yeah, Ellen has collective kitchen every month. Mm. So with her, we learn, we cook Spanish and Italian dishes. Mm. That's good. So that's part of the club. And finally, human relationship. We want to form a community at the university. Mm -hmm. We don't want we don't want the university to be a, uh, a, 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 a so only an intellectual formation area. We want it to be social. We are social human beings. So having a club gives an opportunity for us to get to know each other and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. <laughs> and um, hmm, what is your method to learn the Spanish? To learn Spanish mm -hmm. and to learn any language, I've always told people, I've always told my students, you have to be passionate about anything you want to. Do. True. That's the foundation. So that's the first thing. I was passionate about learning Spanish. Mm -hmm. I used to watch uh, Spanish movies. Oh my God! I used to love the way these people speak. Right. That was far back when I was still a young guy, mm. young boy of uh, 10, 11 years old. I said, God, I want to speak like these people. So I was passionate, then I had the interest. First, being passionate. Second, you have the interest. Mm -hmm. Third, you learn the grammar. I had my teacher yourself Spanish, I had it. Mm -hmm. So I started learning the grammar by myself. Mm -hmm. It's very important because if you don't know the grammar, you can't communicate. You can't make a sentence. After that, you need to be humble to correction, be open to correction. When I went to Mexico, kids were those who taught me Spanish, kids. <laughs> they used to say, hot hair, no say this here, see, say this here, see. You don't say this, you say this. And I immediately corrected myself, so mm -hmm. I was humble. It's important to be humble. Mm -hmm. And finally, practice. Practice makes perfect. You need to mm -hmm. practice. That's why we have the club. Mm -hmm. We give the opportunity for people to practice. Sure, sure. Yeah. And um, how many members do you have in the club? In the club, we are 12. 12. 12 members and That's some good. who are not able to come we always request for the PDF because every class we have a PDF prepared. So PDF yeah. this one? Yes, okay. everything there, well ordered. Okay, so after, after class I sent to them. Just send it yeah. That's good. That's yeah. good. And um, do you have any other things to say? Well, I would like to thank you, uh, uh, Ismael. Ismael. No, well, Spanish no. is Ismael. Ismael. Well, thank Ismael. you very much for this interview. And uh, I'd like to invite those who have not heard of this club mm -hmm. to 
come and make use of it. Mm-hmm. It's for for you. Make use of it. It's free of charge. Why is it in exactly? It is Monday. Tuesday. The Spanish club is every Tuesday from Tuesday. three o'clock to four o'clock. Okay. At uh, the library of Saint Paul University, mm-hmm. room one thousand two hundred and thirty. Okay, that's good. That's good. Well, thank you very much. You're most welcome. I hope to see you soon, Ismael. See you on Tuesday. See you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs>